with our look into some of our uh, representative World War II paint schemes at our, at our museum. Behind me is our Hawker Hurricane, which is in Mark II configuration. Although the, the cockpit and wing center section are Canadian Car and Foundry Mark 12, um, which means it was built in Canada, largely flown in Canada with trading squadrons and home defense. Uh, it was recovered from a lake in Quebec in the 80s, passed around several different restoration shops until it was put together as static display in Texas in the 1990s. Um, through a series of different transactions, we uh, came into possession of the airplane about 20 years ago and left it in the paint scheme that it came in, which was another fictionalized paint scheme representing uh, Stanford Tuck, uh, another famous RAF ace. Um, however, I decided to exert a little bit of executive privilege here. Over the course of you know, my, my research and interest in the Royal Air Force, um, I came to know many World War II veterans up in Canada when I lived there, and one guy in particular, a uh, fellow named Rex Probert was a hurricane and Spitfire pilot in the Mediterranean in 42 and 43, and he served in 33 Squadron in um, the spring of 1942, and he introduced me to L.C. Wade. Now, L.C. Wade is distinguished as being the highest scoring non-Commonwealth pilot to ever serve in the RAF. Uh, he's credited with 25 victories, 22 kills, one shared, three damaged, he had a further ground kill, five more ground damaged, and 13 more probables. Um, Rex and one of his other friends, who was also on the squadron, uh, Milt Josie with, 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 uh, with Wade, said that score is probably modest. It's uh, <laughs> probably exceeds 50, because Elsie uh, had a tendency to take new pilots up and give them a baptism of fire and sort of uh, sneak in behind them and shoot down an airplane and give them credit. Yeah, so yeah. I think his true tally is much higher than credited, uh, very similar to someone like Pat Paddle. Um, now, why why L.C. Wade and why the Pemer and Space Museum? Well, um, yep. so one thing that Rex Corbett would share with you is that on the squadron, you know, L.C. always referred to Tucson as his hometown. Although he was born in Barotas, Texas and raised in Reclaw, Texas, um, Wade had come to Tucson in particular in 1934, um, sort of the onset of the Depression, and he was just chasing work. Uh, he ended up enlisting the Civilian Conservation Corps out here, which is a public works program, uh, putting young men to work for uh, a fairly decent wage at the time, which was about a dollar a day doing uh, public works construction in, in various communities around the country. Okay. Uh, so Elsie spent um, six years here um, doing various things. He enrolled at the University of Arizona, but never graduated. Uh, he also learned to fly here. Uh, he spent time working at, with a crop dusting uh, firm in the region, uh, built up his hours, and in December 1940, like many other Americans, uh, close to 8,400 Americans enlisted in the RAF during the Second World War. L.C. was one of them. Uh, he enlisted here in Tucson and uh, did his refresher training at the Spartan School of Aeronautics in Oklahoma and was he went to England, uh, completed OTU there, converted to fighters, and then was sent to the Middle East. Uh, flew a hurricane off of, um, I think, the Eagle, HMS Eagle, uh, reinforcing Malta. But he only spent a short amount of time in Malta before being sent to Egypt as a reinforcement pilot to 33 Squadron, which was shortly going to be in the thick of it um, in Tobruk, El Alamein, and all the, uh, the intense battles in the Western Desert in the summer of 1942. I had the opportunity before he passed away to speak to Elsie's uh, older brother Orem in Texas and got a lot of family background. Um, one I think is perpetuated in all the histories, is he, he's always referred to as Lance Cleo. Um, he never actually had proper first names. He was always LC in the family, and he was forced to uh, pick uh, proper Christian names when he enlisted in the RAF, and Lance Cleo was the result. Um, so he was only ever known as LC, and that's what the pilots that served with him always knew him as. Uh, he spoke very affectionately as Tuc about Tucson. He intended to be back here after the war and continue an aviation career and finish his studies. That unfortunately was cut short. He was um, killed uh, in a football crash in Foggia, Italy in uh, the summer of 1944. Um, his remains were treated after the war by his family. He's interred in Cushing, Texas in the family plot. Um, so it's a... Uh, it's a nice fitting tribute and also connects into our local community and some of the rich uh, aviation history we have here in Arizona.